Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So we're going to be doing our first Arduino tutorial here. It's going to be a super basic, super simple one where we're just going to be turning on and off the LED as well as using the PWM function for the LEDs which makes it fade in and out. Now there's two kinds of pins here that we're going to be discussing right now. We have the ones that are just plain, you select number 8 and we have the ones which are with the little asterisk here and that little asterisk what it what it's really saying is it could run PWM and what PWM is is just basically you can set the voltage anywhere between 0 to 5 volts and uh, that is what PWM stands for pulse width modulation so you can control that uh, however the ones without the asterisk here are digital which means either on or off so it's either 0 or 5 volt so you won't be able to fade an LED with number 7, but you will be able to fade it with number 6 here. And for example, 10, you'll be able to fade the LED, and um, 8, you will not, because it's just a digital. So that is just a basic intro, and this is like as easy as possible as I could explain it. For example, if you're here from my uh, drone part of the channel, uh, you know that most of our... ESCs run on PWM in sorts of way, which are called multi-shot. They're just PWM modified. Um, however... D shot is more digital, so you can, it's actually running on something of this nature, the 7 and 8 without the asterisk. And, you know, that's just as simple as possible to explain it. All right, so some of the things we're going to be using from the kit that I've previously unboxed on the channel, and the link will be down below to the same exact kit. Uh, we're going to need the LEDs, 220 ohm resistors, and the Arduino itself, the breadboard, and the connecting wires. So let me prepare everything. I'm going to show you how to set up the breadboard here, and let's get started. Alright guys, so if you're new to this, let's quickly talk about the breadboard. Now, as you can see, there's a bunch of holes and um, it's, it can kind, of, it kind of get a bit complicated, but it's actually super simple. Now, we have these in the middle right here. And what these are actually doing is that if you put one wire here, let's just say we put 5 volt here, that means these rows to here are all 5 volts, so you can take to whatever you want. And um, that's how it works all the way down in the middle. However, here it's slightly a bit different. If we put the 5 volt, for example, right here, all of these would be 5 volts so we can power up anything we want. However, you see a cut in the line. That means this is not connected to this. So if you put it here and put the 5 volt for, let's just say, a camera or something, uh, it won't pull because there's a break right here. And same thing goes to the other side and same thing goes to there. So it's just that simple. So these are connected all to here. And then the other ones, the this side's connected all down to here. And uh, these are just going horizontally like so or vertically as we're looking at it right now and that's all there is is to a breadboard it's just that simple so let's grab our arduino here and let's get started so first obviously we're going to need a ground so what we're going to do is fix the camera and start preparing the ground here all right let's do it like so so we're taking a look at it so we're going to need ground. So ground, we can take ground from anywhere really. So here we have a ground. So that's VN and then ground. As you can see right there. See that? That's ground. So I'm going to ground this rail right here. Which means this whole rail up to here is going to be ground. Let me remove that previous one. So there we go. So now we have ground. And now what we need is we're going to set up the two LEDs, one to fade and one not to fade, and we're going to set them on pins 8 and 9. So we're going to get two more wires. Let's get the blue wire here. We're going to say this is pin 9. So that's 9 right there. And we're just going to set it on anywhere really. So we're going to put it right here on 10, or wherever it fits. Sometimes it's a pain to get them to fit, but sometimes they fit perfect. Alright, and we're going to get an orange one, and we're going to put it on 8 and put it somewhere else. So now eight is all connected to these and nine, pin nine is connected to all these and this is this blue line right here is ground up to here. So that's simple, said and done. Now we're gonna need two resistors. Let's grab two resistors here. You need the resistors so the LEDs don't blow themselves up because the LEDs are suicidal and they'll just keep sucking as much as they can until they die. And um, I'll show you that possibly at the end of the video. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, because now we're going to do pin 9 here. So this would be the positive. Once we enable it in the code, this would actually act as the positive and turn the LED on. So what we want to do is we're going to take this guy right here and we're just going to route him to, let's just say here. Okay, so there we go. 
we just routed that alrighty so there we go so now we have number five here is for our first LED so what it's going is when it tells it turn on pin 9 or is it 10 no it's 9 so turn on pin 9 it'll go through the resistor to the positive of the LED and then we're gonna give it ground from this guy so since that's blue we're gonna put a blue LED now how do you know what's positive and what's negative on an LED well usually how I go about it is I feel the circle here and there's a flat part and it's also the shortest lead and that would be ground so this would be ground so let's go ahead and grab ground and put them on ground so the short shorter pin is ground let me just double check yes okay and we're just gonna put them on the ground wire there and we're gonna put the positive next to the resistor here okay and that should be in if we didn't break it all right so that's in so as you can see there it is it has ground from this rail and the positive is going through the resistor to this guy try not to put them on the same side because the resistor is passing electricity to here so it's resisting that electricity before giving it to the LED which lights up and then feeds it back to ground and uh, yeah there's our first LED and that's for pin number nine now let's get a red we're gonna get a red one now because you know the wire is orange here and let's just put the LED here first so we need the shorter pin we're gonna stick it into ground and we're just gonna stick this anywhere there we go so as you can see here I stuck the ground to ground because this whole line is ground the blue part and here is where we're gonna set up our positive so let's just grab another resistor and we're gonna to touch the positive side so this would be all the positive side and we're just gonna route it somewhere else okay so now it's routed to here and I'm gonna take this guy and we're gonna put him right there and there we go in theory we have our first circuit now in theory 8 will not be able to fade in and out and 9 will have be able to fade in and out so now let's just take a look at the coding alright guys so this is the Arduino compiler here and it's very simple to use um, super easy but first we're just gonna just do some basic setup here what you want to do is you want to go to file and we're gonna go to examples and we're gonna go to basics and then we have a blink um, code here and as you can see it's right here however if we set this up right now it will not work why because here it's set to LED pin and LED pin by default is pin 13 and we are using pins 8 and 9 so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to modify this code a little bit and this is a good way to start to kind of understand so what we want to do is we want to set up let's just tell it uh, you can what you can do is very simple actually you can just put here pin 8 this is yeah let's just say pin 8 and then here's another pin 8 we can do it this way super simple and then there's also another way we can do it I'll show you in a little bit so let's just take a look at the code here so this is the setup this sets up the Arduino as it boots kind of like a BIOS thing so as it boots it tells it that pin 8 created as an output and not an input so we're going to be sending out voltage so that's correct and uh, if we go down here the loop now this will keep looping down here this only runs once when the Arduino starts and this will keep looping the whole time it's on so as you can see void loop uh, digital write on pin 8 to high high means turn it on give it full voltage and then it'll say delay 1000 microseconds or is it 1000 milliseconds and that means just stay on for one second and then after that after the one seconds complete it comes down digital write pin 8 to low that means turn it off and stay like that for one second and then it'll loop again so that's what happens here so let's go ahead and see how we're going to compile this we're going to have to go to tools ports and obviously we're going to have to connect the Arduino to the PC here so let's go ahead and do that okay so that's connected and what we're going to do is we're going to go to tools and as you can see here mine popped up I know COM port is nothing because it's just I have it set up for something else so here we have COM port 18 now don't worry if Arduino and this on the side does not show up for you um, it's totally fine just try it out so mine is COM 18 it already picked it for me and we want to do is we want to go to boards and you want to pick Arduino this one right there if we're using a nano we would choose this one so yes that's already selected for us we're gonna say upload now it's going to upload and we should see 
pin 8 which is the red LED go on and off for one second and as you can see it's totally working perfect all right so now let's just say we want to add the um, blue blue LED to turn on and off so blue is on 9 okay so what we want to do is let's just copy this make it super simple and then we're gonna go here we're gonna say 9 so now we turned pin 9 into an output and also we're gonna do the same here just basically copy this one also there we go and we're gonna say 9 and do the same thing here And we're going to say 9. Now, if you've noticed, I didn't actually copy the delay because we only need one delay. So it just, when it, once the loop starts, it goes pin 8, high, pin 9, high. And then it'll just wait, which means turn on, wait one second, and then turn both of them off, and then just vice versa. So let's go ahead and compile that. And now, in theory, they should go on and off at the same time. Now, that is awesome. That is super perfect. All right, so now it's getting kind of confusing as you can see when we're adding more LEDs. I, I kind of lost which one's eight and which one's nine. So let's just take a look here. We're gonna do a little coding here. It's very simple. So in C, you have to actually tell it what kind of variable it's gonna be. So we're gonna say integer, and we're gonna say, we're gonna name it blue, okay? And that's gonna equal pin. Which one is the blue one? It's pin nine here. So we're gonna say equals nine and close it. All right, and then we're gonna say another one, int, and we're gonna call it red equals eight. All right, this will help us out. Now let me show you what we can do with this. So we know pin nine is is the blue one. So instead of nine, we could just put blue now. So let's just take a look here. There we go. And now let's take the red and change pin eight to red. So this will help you into not getting lost once it gets kind of crazy and uh, complex and should make your life easier. So let's go ahead and compile this again, see if everything works. All right, so it's done uploading, so in theory, everything's still working, so that's very good. Now let's do something a little bit different here. Um, let's take a look here. So we will, let's make him go back and forth, kind of like a, a policeman's top LED thingy nowadays. So let's just say when the red is high, let we want the blue to be low, which is off. And now here, when the red is low, we want the blue to be high. All right, so now we can see that it should go back and forth. So let's go ahead and compile that and send it to the Arduino. And it's just that simple. It's very simple. You can find a bunch of code online to cut it up and make it do whatever you want. And uh, don't worry, you'll get the basics as time goes on. Nobody knows everything right when it starts. Even some college kids won't even know how to program. So don't even don't 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 say you need some kind of university degree or something. You don't need nothing, just time. And now let's do something a little bit different. Let's change the timing here. Let's change this to 100. Let's see what happens here. See that? Now it just changes, so it's becoming a little bit quicker. So um, you can just go ahead and play with this, add more delays, do what you want, and uh, it'll be pretty cool and pretty interesting. However, if we remove the resistor, most likely the LED will blow up, and um, yeah, it won't be. I mean, it's not going to be a bad day, it's just one LED that blown up. But um, yeah, that's why people add resistors here. And well, I think that's going to include it for this video, guys. So I'm going to let you go ahead and play around with this, and later on, we're going to be doing a little bit more advanced uh, going into the PWM and even using a photo resistor here. For example, when you turn off the room's light, the LED would turn on. So the stuff like this we're gonna be doing, and that'll be taking in the analog in part of the Arduino here, and basically understanding it step by step. And, well, that's concluded for this video, guys. I really hope it helps someone out there. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know, and I will see you next time. See you guys, take care.